Hey, Megan Scully, and this is the Limerick Post Show. Joining me in studio, it is singer-songwriter Robert Dawson. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No, it's very good to have you. You're a Limerick man. Tell us yeah. where you're from. Yeah, I'm from Kilcarnan. That's just before skating, for anyone wondering. Yeah, we just had this conversation <laughs> now before we uh, went on air yeah. just to uh, find out exactly, because um, not all of us in here are from yeah. Limerick, but I'm getting pretty familiar now with County Limerick, I have to say. Um, so it didn't take you too long to get into the city centre? No, just a few minutes, about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favourite thing about Limerick, if you had, like... Um, I think Limerick is like a big massive community. Yeah. Like I find with my EP launch, I've been putting up posters a lot of places and getting in contact and got a lot of spot prizes and um, a lot of press. So I think when someone's doing like an event, everyone kind of gets behind each yeah, other. Yeah, it's, it's all really like good, a, isn't it? A community type feeling. Now we're going to get to your um, your event in a little <laughs> while, but um, bring us back. Now you're only 18 years of age. Yeah. So have yeah. you just finished school? Uh, no, only in fifth year. You're still in school? Yeah. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> Fair yeah. play to you. It's hard to juggle school and music. Yeah, and a part-time job as well. Wow! Oh my God, I'm very impressed by you. You're like, do you have any time off? No, no, no. <laughs> I won't even ask what you do like on a Sunday for a chill out time, or is there such a thing? Or no, is we, your time off spent at music? Uh well, I go to school Monday to Thursday. Fridays a work experience day. Don't have work experience yet, so I take Fridays as a chill day. Um, and then Saturday and Sundays I work. Oh wow! Work. Yep. Fair play, yep. Chet. She's I'm very impressed. Um, do tell us, bring us back now, because I know you were in. Was it Spotlight? Yeah, Spotlight Stage School, Margaret and Judy. Shout out to Margaret. And Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a shout out in there. Yeah. Um, so what age were you when you joined Spotlight? Um, I'd say I joined Spotlight just short about six. Oh wow! Right. I was in Spotlight from when I was six to about eleven. Yeah. Eleven or twelve. After about twelve, I don't know why. I just kind of was going towards more original music and yeah. more of my own kind of. Bit of a solo artist type thing. But when I was in Spotlight, I loved it, yeah. Yeah, because it's like, I have loads of little cousins around Limerick and everyone's yeah. involved in some stage yeah. school around. And it's just, it's just I think it's great yeah. community as well, isn't it? It's great. It builds our confidence. Like, we, yeah. we used to always do shows in, we did a few in the Lime Tree and oh, a few wow. in the University of Limerick Concert Hall. So it kind of builds your confidence to be on a stage and, yeah. like, you learn skills and stuff presenting yourself as an artist. I think, like, stage presence is a huge thing. So, as yeah. you said, they're the, like, best places to start. Yeah. yeah. So then when did you get into writing music? Uh, I didn't actually, well, I think I was about 13 when I started writing music. Yeah. I wrote one of my first songs, which is on the EP, is called Broken. Mm. <laughs> a very depressing song. Um, <laughs> but um, the other day I was with my guitar teacher, Mike, and um, I was kind of listening to the song. I played it on piano and I wasn't great now when I was 12. I wasn't great at writing songs. And uh, Mike picked up the guitar and he just kind of started strumming away. At it and I was, I was kind of listening. I was like, can I record that, Mike? <laughs> just the, the, yeah. the bit of the guitar. And um, I use that then as one of the tracks. I kind of oh. revamped. Two songs on the EP are revamped from when I was younger. Oh, amazing. That's yeah. incredible. Because <laughs> like, a lot of people are like, oh, I wrote a load of music, but I haven't yeah. gone near it again. But it's great to bring it yeah. back out. And yeah. you play, I saw you play the piano. Yep. And you play the guitar as well. Yep, yep. Brilliant. So what will you, at your EP launch, will you be playing, have yeah. both on the go? Or what will you? Bit of everything. Brilliant. Bit of an instrumental. A few people are playing on the night. And um, yeah, bit of everything. Tell us about your music and your style. Um... A lot of people have asked me about that. Like, what's your what's your musical style? I don't really have a musical style. I'd sing anything. Yeah. Like, um, when I'm covering songs, I was on, what was it, Live 95 FM the other day mm. with Trevor Anderson. And um, he was kind of talking about um, covering songs. So I did a song by uh, Sarah Barella. She used to be oh, And um, everyone's talking about it. They said it was a good cover. But, like, people are like, how do you find the songs you want to cover, especially a female song? Yeah. And um, I'd say it took me about six and a half months to find an instrumental that suited my voice. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. So it's it's difficult enough, but I don't know. If I click with a song emotionally, I kind of... Yeah, that's kind of cool though too, song. because I suppose you don't want to be stuck into one genre either. Yeah. It's nice to be able to kind of play around yeah. it. I know you're a fan of um, Emma Langford. We've had her on the show yeah, as well. Yep. Yeah. Good Limerick musician. Yeah. There's a great um, network of musicians in Limerick. Yeah. And it's very supportive. <laughs> That's it. It's it's kind of builds into the community type thing. All yeah. um, Limerick singer songwriters are all out to support each other. There's no like rivalry. All of, like you did this, mm -hmm. or you did that, or you got that many streams, or I got that many streams. Everyone's kind of out there to build each other up and just create a good name for Limerick and a good musical name for Limerick. And do you um, find how's everyone at school when now that you're like getting your music career going? Are they supportive? <laughs> yeah, they're very supportive. A few people from the past now. You know, it's kind of the usual, like, oh, you're getting a bit of coverage, like, oh, can I talk to you again? You're kind of like, um, no, <laughs> I'm right. Like, what school are you? Just give them a shout out. Uh, Reckiel, Closh and the Chalk and Reckiel. Lovely, shout out to everyone there, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Do they ever, like, is if there's like a school now kind of concert rant going on, is it always like, yeah. Robert, come on? Always. You're signed always. up for even like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, I love that though, too. Yeah. Like, no audience, like, your school friends are always kind of like, yeah. probably going to be your toughest audience, really. Mm. Yeah. 
And there's a great like support in the community, like Kilcorn and Neskeaton. Mm. Everyone's kind of. I can't really go out in Neskeaton anymore. I go to the top of the town in Neskeaton. Shout out to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I go to the top of the town in Neskeaton all the time, and it's. I've sang there so much uh, with other people that I go in and I walk in the door and everyone is shouting at the musician, like, get off and let Robert come on. So. <laughs> they just assume, like, you're, in, you're like, I'm having yeah. a night out, I'm having a night off. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. Yeah. Um, Robert, tell us, where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at official Robert Dawson. You can mm. find me on Facebook at Robert Dawson Music and Snapchat at Rob Dawson Music. Lovely. And tell us about your new track that you have. Uh, well, it's not just one track, it's many tracks. Yeah. I have one track that's out at the moment. It was supposed to be called Never Gonna Love Again. Um, I talked about this before. Uh, what happened was, I was going into the website I used to upload all my music to iTunes and Spotify and all that. And I typed in, never going to love again. And it auto-corrected to I'll never love again. Okay. So now it's kind of like, you have to search up Lady Gaga's song now to find my song. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just under her though, so I'm not doing too bad. There you go, I'll tell you. It's not a bad place to be at all. Yeah. Um, tell us now, we've talked about the EP launch night. Where is it happening? What date? What time? Um, it's happening at the Men's Ballon Temple in Newcastle West. It's starting at 8 o'clock. Um, and it's just going to be a great night of music. Um, I have a couple of people starting off for me. So I have Vaughn McCarthy, she's a good friend. She's doing mm -hmm. Sound and Lighting. Great. I have um, Abby Butler, who's also a local uh, Newcastle West musician. And I have my brother, Tomas. He's going to be singing as well. Oh, amazing. Yeah. That's super. <laughs> and I know it's all for a good cause as well. Yeah. Yep, we're doing a raffle and all the proceeds. We're also selling CDs, which are a fiver. Brilliant. Um, and all the proceeds from the CDs and the raffle will be given to Milford Hospice on the night. That's absolutely incredible. And I said, keep an eye on across all your social media for all your information yep. on everything. And Robert Dawson, thank you so much yep. for chatting to us the Limerick Poe Show. No problem. Thank you for having me in.